foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Kerax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calgarine speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. There must be a way to test the limits of the Keystone's absorption capabilities. Where does one acquire void energy? Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The Kala was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it, and when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Almar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. 
powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose among them. Kassar de Templari. No, Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see for the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed! Then this is something I hope to witness. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Capulu Sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zerbrudes in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. 
These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against this slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! Fire stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be, now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix. But not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy, but it certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lentinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. Alarak's vanguards have joined our cause. It seems our surprise... 